YouTube. It's your girl, Nate the Great, aka Nigga Beans. We're gonna call me that shit, that shit. Back like I never left. Back like I never left. And back like I never left. So I just wanna say thank you guys for liking and subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. You know, because y'all know we the greatest family on YouTube. Period. It don't get no greater than us. Make sure you guys stop this video right now. When I mean right now, I mean right now. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell to never miss another video by the great. Period. Uh, I do look toe up. But so today I'm going to be doing a story time. You said story time? I said story time. So this is going to be a story time on, well, not on, well, well yeah, on Halloween night. Um, things went bad. I broke my leg. I lied to my mom. You know, just so much. So we finna, you know, we finna chop it up. We finna get into it. So you feel me? Lies, you feel me? Just, just, just get you, you really just messed up. But make sure y'all don't forget to subscribe and just, y'all just better listen. Like sometimes you gotta just put the, put the metal to the pedal and, um, you know, just stay in the house. But anyways, okay, so on Halloween night, it was like a lot of parties going on. But I told myself that I wasn't going to any parties. I really had it like psychologically in my mind trying to lie to myself that I wasn't going to any parties. And I'm not going to lie, for a moment, I was not going to any parties. My friend, I lived next door to a friend. She had a um, Halloween party at her house. So I ended up going, I told myself I was going to go to her party and I wasn't going to go to nobody else's party. So, um, I went to her party, you know, we was chilling and, you know, or whatever. And, uh, she ended up going to bed. you telling us like, all right, y'all, you know, so I end up, I was going to come in the house too. Before I came in the house, I brought my purse in the house. My, my wallet, my keys, and I told my mom, hey, I'm going to go to the store with such and such. We're going to call her Angelica. So, um, I went to the store. I told her I was going to the store Angelica. And, um, they're like, all right. I was, I swear to God, I ain't going nowhere. Like, I'm about to go to the store and come back to the house. But me, knowing I'm lying, I was going to a party. But when I jumped in the crowd with Angelica, boom, we on our way to the party. You know, we get to the party like 10, 15 minutes later. You know, the party busting. When I mean the party busting, the party like really going up. I'm talking about going up. So, you know, we just chilling. You know, we chilling. Like, we just, you know, everybody chilling. You know, they smoking. You know, the, 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 the air is filled with smoke. Like, we got fog machines because it's so smoggy from the smoke. You know, and then it got the fog. I mean, the lights flashing. So, the party really going up. But, um... I'm in a party, you know, and my vibe, I don't know, my vibe changed. My vibe, like, just automatically changed. So I tell Angelica, I said, come on, Angelica, let's go. And she like, all right, girl, you know. But she thought I was playing. She told me later on. She was like, oh, girl, I thought you was playing because, you know, you always be playing like that, you know. And I had to really think about it. Yeah, I do be playing. But if I'm saying let's go, you know, let's go. You know what I'm saying? But you feel me? We ain't no. Let me just finish telling y'all. So, um, I say, I remember saying let's go, I think, like, three times, but we never end up leaving. It's like, after that third time, I believe I said it, they laid a shot off, a shot, boom, in the house. Everybody started running, when I mean running, like, scattering like roaches. I'm talking about pushing each other, knocking each other down. Like, you know, I'm steady going out the front door, and Angelica in the back, but I'm not trying to see her perception that she's trying to stay farther, you know, to the back. Don't run to the front with everybody else. But so me, I, I I noticed, you know, her standing in the back. So I run back to the back like, oh, my gosh. Boom. So we finally end up getting out of so outside after, you know, everybody pushing each other and stuff like that. So um, they had a mechanical bull. So we all, like a group of us, get behind them in a, um, the mechanical bull. And we, you know, all, you know, duck down or whatever. Next thing you know, they just, they just start busting 20, like, I swear, like 15, 20 rounds. Just boom. Boom, boom, busting. So everybody's still screaming and running. So it was a hole in the gate. The party was at. Now y'all know me. <laughs> I'm a little chunky. You feel me? So 
everybody, you know, holding the gate open, like bending it back so people could fit in. Boom. So we end up, me and the judge could end up getting over the gate to the neighbor's backyard or whatever. Boom. So we we in the backyard with like a group of people. I'm talking about like a group of girls. Like I don't even think it was no boys. We was in the backyard with like a group of girls. So it only end up being two of us in the backyard, which was me and Angelica. So I'm over here begging the party, the house that we was at, who party it was. I don't even know who party it was. So I'm over here telling the girl, like, excuse me, can you, hold, can you hold the gate back open? You know, like, can we come back over here, like, and go through the front? And like, you know, she tell us, oh, y'all motherfuckers broke my gate. Y'all not coming back through here. And y'all better get out of my neighbor's backyard because they're going to call the police. Honey, boo boo, I didn't break nothing. The gate was already broke. You know what I'm saying? They bend it back so people can fit through. You know what I'm saying? So as I'm telling, you know, her and Jug could have jumped over the gate. So she called me. She like, nay, nay, come on, come on. So um, I get over there, boom, and I get to the gate. And I'm not gonna lie, the gate was nice and sturdy. You know, it wasn't that tall. You feel me? It was it was a nice size. So, um, boom. I hop on the gate. Boom, I put my leg over. Put my other leg over. And that's a thorn bush. So, me, I'm just so scared. Because they just got done busting. There's only two of us left in this backyard. Their neighbors finna call the police. Mind you, we didn't know if they had dogs or nothing. But I didn't even think about how I should have turned around. And my brother told me, you never jump. You know, you should have just turned around and, you know, got down. But I was just so scared. My adrenaline was pumping so fast. I was just so scared. I wasn't thinking. So, um, boom, I put both of my legs over the gate. And I tried to jump, like, to the side. Because I didn't want to get scraped by the the, the, uh, the uh, thorn bushes. But I ended up getting scraped up by the thorn bushes on my arms, on my legs, and all that. Boom. So, I um I jumped. Boom, I hit the ground. And my knee just popped out of place. So, but I, it don't hurt because my adrenaline is going so fast. You know, I'm not thinking about that. Boom. So when I hit the ground and my leg been out of place, I jump up and try to take off running. Boom. Collapse. So I'm like, oh, like I broke my leg. You know, I can't get up. So you feel me? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, they thinking, you know, I'm playing. So I see a guy parked right there on the corner like in front of the house in a BMW. So I tell this guy, like, hey, please, can you help Angelica get me off the ground? I can't walk. Like, I broke my leg. Like, but a lot of people didn't think, like, I messed up my leg because I wasn't in pain. But, you know, if you're drinking, you're smoking, and your adrenaline is pumping so quick, you're not going to feel bad. You're just worried about trying to get out, out of there. You know, you're trying to worry about getting safe. So, um... <laughs> so, um... I, I begged the guy like three times, I'm, I'm, I'll cash after you. You feel me? Like, just help me. Help me. Like, so the guy ended up walking over there. So him and Angelica grabbed me. And I said, please, put me in the front seat of your car. And take us around the corner to Angelica's car. And I thank God I didn't let Angelica leave me on the ground and go get her car. Because the police was not letting nobody back through. Walking, passing by, nothing. So if I would have been on that ground, I would have just been on the ground done for like done for boom so um angelica ended up cashing up in the guy because he was like so y'all really gonna cash at me so angelica ended up um ca cash up in the guy twenty dollars or whatever so boom uh we get in the car you know and you know my knee like it's like swelling I, I feel my knee swelling but i'm not in pain i'm just trying to get to the house the police got all the streets blocked off we can't get through <laughs> nothing um so before we can get through, the police asking everybody for their names, you know, so we, they can search us in the um, system <coughs> to make sure we ain't got no records. <coughs> Long story short, we end up, you know, getting through, you know, we gave them, and I was going to get the police a fake name. I ain't even going to lie. I ain't even going to cap. But when he said, we, they searching them in the system, I said, yeah, I ain't going to lie because if I use somebody's name and it pop up in the system, they finna cuff me up and I'm going to jail. Guard, you feel me? I can't, you feel me? So I said, let me just give him my real name. And by the grace of God, y'all, I had, I got a warrant too for a fix it for a, it's a fix it ticket actually because I don't have no registration, um, or no tags on my car. But I got all that, you feel me? But and I just thank God, I thank God, they didn't search my name right then and there. He only told us he was gonna search it right then and there for us to, you know, hurry up and um, give him our names. 
a long story short, you know, I made it out alive and I learned to never lie to my mother, my family again. I never, I learned to stop jumping in and out of people's cars when I got my own car. And um, all my party days is over. I'm 19, finna be 20. I could have been 19, finna be in a casket. So I just really thank God, you feel me, that um, I, you know, made it alive. Cause when I mean they bust at that party, like people got shot and all that. I said my party days are like are done. I'm scared to even go outside. That's like ever since that day, everybody been dying, getting shot. I just like wow, like I don't even want to be in traffic. You feel me? Because it's scary. So never lie to where you finna go because that could be your last time seeing your family again. I just wanna say thank you guys, and this is my story time on what not to do. Don't go to no party and say you're going to the stove. But you know, you live, you learn, you make mistakes. And you break your leg and you know and um yeah so i just want to say thank you guys for watching liking subscribing if you want to see if you want to see more want to see want to see more want to see more want to see more